Hi folks and welcome to Christmas in July, um, a very short uh, series of Christmas crafting that I thought I'd do. Um, I know lots of people are doing a whole month of it so I thought a few short days of Christmas crafting because as everyone knows I've been sending out some doing some uh, pocket letter swaps and mine have all been Christmas themed so while I've got Christmas um, in my head I thought I'd do some Christmas crafting. So the first um, thing that tutorial I'm going to show you is uh, is this. Now I've been watching some online tutorials where people have used uh, envelopes to make scrapbooks and mini, al mini albums and things. So I thought I'd give it a go and this is what I've come up with and it's it's a Christmas happy mail card if that makes sense um let me show you what i'm talking about so this is one i'm going to be sending out to a friend um, as happy mail um but when you flip it over you've got a space where i can write my message you've got the card element so to and from i'll put at the bottom and then when you flip over the last page you've got some pockets so we've got some bits in the two pockets I've created there but you've also got pockets in the back there as well so um, I've used the uh, works self-adhesive uh, self-craft bags and they fit just nicely into this uh, this size album um, because it gives me plenty of room so what I've done as well is I've left a bit more of a gap than I would normally which means that when I I've filled my um, my bag I can then pop it in and I've got room for it to expand so there's one whoops one that side and we've got one this side there we go um, and then I've got some other bits and pieces in those pockets there and then we've got the back so what I've uh, used to do this is I've used the Poundland um, Manella, 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 I can't pronounce it. Anyway, you know what I mean. The Poundland envelopes. I've also used um, the Works Vintage Christmas, the Colours of Christmas Vintage uh, pack, which I picked up after Christmas, the beginning of this year, for a pound. Um, and then the self seal bags as well, which were also from the works. So what I've done is I've taken the first six pages out of the album. Because this comes, let me show you. So you've got this colourway. So you've got that paper. You've got that sort of vintagey um, distressed look. And then you've got the snowflakes. And then in the next colourway, so it's a darker green, you've got the same again. And then in the blue, you've got the same again. So what I've done is I've just taken those three and those three um, and taken them out to make my card in blue. Bingo. So what I've done is I've taken my taken out three envelopes and as you can see I've gone round and I've distressed the edges with some vintage photo just gone round very quickly both sides and distressed it so the next thing I'm going to do so this is going to be my front and these are going to be the two internal flaps so what I need to do is face the pockets that are open against each other like that so that would be the front of the envelope and so would that so I'm going to face them against each other and I'm just let me move that out and I'm just going to fold it so that the two um, seals are together like that so I'm going to match them up so that they are fitting together quite nicely and then I'm going to open it out and I'm going to take off the carrier paper while holding it down in place. And I'm going to use some wet glue as well just to hold it. Now I'm using a very fine precision 
paper, uh, nib, as you can see, because this paper, once you get it wet, it does crinkle up quite a lot. So I'm going to just use it on the one side and I'm going to go down. I'm going to stay about a quarter of an inch away from the fold because I want there to be a little bit of give in these so I don't need them to be too tight. I'm going to go up close to there, make sure I'm doing those edges and just run a very thin bead just that side of the, um, the sticky. Right, and I'm going to butt it up really carefully, lining it up both sides and then I'm going to bring this one over to meet that one. That way I know I've got a good fold. So there we go. So now we've got them facing each other. So I've got my pocket and my other pocket. So what I'm now going to do is bring in my front page and I'm going to pop that inside there like that. There we go. So that fits lovely. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put some glue all the way down that side there. You'll just be able to see where it's wet. It's just starting to crinkle up a little bit. So that's why I'm using it as sparingly as possible on the, um, the envelopes. If you want, don't want these or, you know, you're happy for these to sort of not last, um, then you can use some double sided tape if you want to. So now I've put glue all the way down that edge and I'm just going to slide it very carefully inside that envelope. There we go. There we are. And then bring that over just so as we know that that fits in. So there we have. And open it up. Now we've still got that pocket there. Now I don't want a pocket there, but if you do, then leave it. It's entirely up to you how you do these things. But I don't want to, so I'm just running a very thin bead of glue just under that pocket there and glue that down like that. So now we have the front, we have where my sentiment's going to be, we have our two pockets and we have the back. Now if you wanted to, you could fit another piece of card on the back using the flap, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take that off and run a bead of glue, whoops, all the way around the outside. So I'm just going this side of the, where the carrier was, the glue that the, and I'm staying again, staying about a quarter of an inch away from this crease so that I've got some flexibility in the pocket when I start to add some goodies. So there we go. Fold that over and glue that down. There we go. So that's my pocket started. So that will be my front page. That will be the card bit and where I write. And then these are my two pockets. Okay, so now that I've done that, I've taken out six pieces of the paper and I've cut it. Let me just get rid of that paper. I've cut it at, so these are the measurements. So it's um, five and seven eighths across by eight and a quarter long. That's for these envelopes. Remember, this is only if you're using these envelopes. If you've got your own, then have a look at the measurements and take a quarter of an inch or thereabouts all the way around. So five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter, or if you're using centimetres, it's 14.8 by 22 centimetres. So 14.8 by 22 that way. Okay, you'll also need some white card. So um, this is just some white card for me to write on. So this is eight and a quarter that way, and five and a half across, 
or 14 by 20 uh, sorry 14 by 21 so I'll put the measurements below but these are only if you are using the Poundland Manila um, papers uh, sorry envelopes so let's pop the white paper to one side so <clears throat> and the offcuts keep all your offcuts because you're going to use the po those for pockets so um, I've decided I'm going to use it what I've done is because we've got the three different designs I've just alternated it so I've got the pink the green the pink the green the pink and the green just so as I know what order I want them in on my um, envelope so this is definitely what I want on the front because I really really love that paper it is gorgeous and I'm just going to take again I'm going to use my precision um, glue I wouldn't ordinarily use this one I would use my um, funky glue pen um, I think it's tonic that one I would normally use but because the papers do the paper on the envelopes do crinkle up quite a lot if I was using thicker envelopes I think I would probably um, use more glue but I'm trying to be very very sparing with it on this so this is the front of my envelope so lining that up pop that on so that's the front of my card done ready for me to decorate it so now I'm going to open it up and I've got so my pockets are at the back and what I decided to do is to use the distress paper because it's a little bit plainer because when I put the white card on it's going to cover up most of that um, most of that paper so I didn't want to hide so I didn't want to hide all of that paper or the um, snowflakes because I thought it's far too pretty to hide so again using a very thin bead of glue all the way around so bearing in mind if you have left that front um, this front open as a pocket then be careful about how and where you glue because you don't want to then seal that um, that pocket shut and it's very easy to do when you are um, popping on layers of card on top of the envelopes so just put some in the middle like that and then I'm going to pop it on there we go line it up and that's the nice thing about using um, wet glue isn't it you've got time before it grabs for you to um, reposition if you need to um, unfortunately you don't get that when you're using um, double-sided tape so again with the other one all the way around the outside whoops and back up there we go and across there so yeah so I'm hoping to do a whole week's worth of uh, Christmas crafting maybe one day or one every other day let's see how we go and what ideas I can find um, put that at the bottom um, to share I might do one of the ideas is to maybe redo something that I did right at the very beginning when I did my channel so that's those two done now I'm going to bring in the white um, card now I want mine on this side and I want to leave it blank because I want to write a message on it but if you want to print on it or um, you know stamp or whatever then do feel free to do whatever you think you need to but I want to write a message on there so I'm leaving it blank so all the way around and again this card is quite thin it doesn't crinkle up as much as the manila envelopes but it can do if I load it too heavily with um, 
with glue so and then this size I've just stamped a sentiment on so that's going to go there so very quickly let's go all the way down and round all the way around the outside and across the top some in the middle just to hold it there we go and pop that in the middle like that there we go nice and straight so that's that bit done so now i'm opening up where my envelopes are and i have so that's pink so the green goes there and that one goes there so i'm going to glue these straight down so i'm only going to put glue on three sides so across the, the bottom and the top and down the one side like that and i'll put some in the middle and then i'm going to put a bead of glue down the edge that quarter of an inch away from the edge of that pocket so just a quarter of an inch away from there so that when it does, it will grab it. So I'm going to put another bit of glue there, just so I've got that reinforcement. And making sure that I make keep this side clear and pop it down that way. So pop that on like that. There we go. And the same. If I put that on the right side, yes, I have. Double check there for a minute. So, and again with this one, top and bottom, oops, and down one side, there we go, and some in the middle to hold it down, and a line there, because I know that's nowhere near where my opening is, so a little bit of glue. It's a quarter of an inch away from the opening of the envelope. All the way up and a little bit over. That one's not sticking very well, so let's put a little bit more glue on the edge there. Push that down. Okay, so making sure that my edge with no glue on is at this side. I'm going to flip it over and pop it down like that. I'm going slightly more this side so that I've got room in the middle to um, to open it up properly. There we go. And then, actually, let's do the pockets first. So two pieces of the offcuts. So these were the offcuts at the bottom there. So those were at the bottom there. So you could use those ones if you want. I'm opting to use these gorgeous ones, but I'm going to swap them over so that we've got that contrast. I've already used my uh, one and a half inch punch to punch a finger lift out of there. It also gives whoever receives it, they can see that this is a pocket um, that they can pull things out of. So beads of glue down each end and then the opposite side to where you've got your finger lift pocket in so all the way down and then i'm just going to line it up on there and leave that to glue second one exactly the same oops let's just go across the top one end left and right and the bottom so and if you are using directional paper just bear that in mind when you are cutting your finger holes pop that down carefully there we go oops slipped there we go so that's those two done and then all i need to do now is glue the last piece on the back and that is so i won't decorate it on camera because you will obviously have very different um ephemera to or toppers or whatever you want to use to what i have um in fact i don't even know who made the um 
the stickers because I picked them up at a car boot sale. So I don't know what set they're from or what make they are because let me just make sure this is the right way around. Yeah, pop that on there. Um, yeah, because I picked them up at the car boot sale and they were in a, a bag separate from other things. So I didn't see what make they are. So, um, yeah, so I've got lots and lots of stickers and um, ribbons, sticky ribbons and trims and things that I shall decorate this up with later. So there you have it. This is how to make my... Um, pocket card um yeah pocket card so there we go so there's two of them and exactly the same so you open them up you've got your sentiments and somewhere to write and then you've got your two pockets and then you've got the back page so yes, so I quite enjoyed making those and they are so quick and easy to make that uh, I think I'm going to make a few more and have them on standby for Christmas where I might send some um, things out to people. All right then, so hope you enjoyed that. If you do, um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, give me a thumbs down. I don't mind. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah and comment below um, if you've got any suggestions or ideas all right then folks i will chat to you soon take care bye for now